Bennett with a special POT TV uh, update on uh, the situation in Dauphin, Manitoba. I have uh, John Woods' wife, Stephanie, on the line with me, John Woods of Sweet Temptations, who led the rally in Dauphin, Manitoba, in the face of 40 cops in Mark's absence while Mark was uh, being detained by the Winnipeg police. And uh, some recent developments have happened there. Uh, isn't that correct, Stephanie? Yes. Um, so tell us, uh, my, we understand uh, John's in jail presently. Uh, yeah, he is presently in jail right now for a breach of recognizance, and um, he's also in there for trafficking of marijuana. Uh, basically, John gave a f or John went home with a friend last night or the night before, and um, they threw in a movie, sat down, smoked a joint, and John seen the police driving by, so he thought they were here for their uh, routine uh, curfew check because he has a curfew of nine to nine, and so he ran to the bathroom, flushed his joint down the toilet, and ran outside to present himself, um, where they proceeded to arrest him for breach of recog, saying that there was a off-duty officer and his wife, who is a lawyer, um, that had seen him in um, Yorkton on Saturday, which is when we were on our way to the rally in Regina to meet Mark Emery. Um, so they arrested him for breach of recog there. Um, the officer said he could smell marijuana, um, they arrested him, took him away, and the other individual was still in the house. Um, they kept him there um, and uh, basically threatened him. He has a very prominent job, which he's really concerned about. Um, and basically, I got I got there. John was gone, and there was cops in my house, and this individual was sitting there. Um, they proceeded to search my entire residence. My whole house was torn apart for a second time in one month. Wow. And... Um, they just repeatedly tried to ask me where John's stash was, and they said I could sit here and wait or I can answer a few questions or I could leave. Um, I chose to leave right away just because it was a stressful situation. Yeah, yeah. And I just didn't want to be there at the time. Um, uh, when I, ca I came back and they tried to question me again, and I just told them, you know, if you're done what you're doing here, you know, you can go. I just want to go home and, you know, relax. And um, basically he's getting charged for um, trafficking of marijuana because the, under, the other individual made a statement admitting that he and John had smoked a joint and that uh, he had a plastic baggie of weed. Um, the, they searched the entire residence. They did not find anything whatsoever in our house. Wow, wow. So the, the, the other individual obviously isn't very clued in like that. It's just not a very cool thing to do. Say nothing to the cops people exactly. uh, um, in a situation like this. There, it doesn't even sound like there was any evidence found. No, there was no evidence, and that's the thing. Um, yeah, he's very uneducated about his rights, and he's never been in trouble with the law. He does not know how to handle it. Is there any chance this individual could have set John up? Um, I don't think so. Um, he, he and John have been very close friends for a long time. He's actually, um, and he's actually a really, um, decent guy. Hmm. Um, I think he just got in a situation where he didn't know how to handle it, and I think if, uh, he had someone there with him, he might have handled it a little better. Well, he certainly fumbled the ball in, in, in this situation because yes. uh, there's no way that John should have uh, uh, been taken for this. It sounds like, you know, like they say here in Canada, people uh, don't do any time for simple possession, but uh, here's a classic case. They don't even have any marijuana yet. A man's in jail. Right. And uh, um, actually the arresting officer, who is Joseph Dodier of the Dar Dauphin RCMP, he has labeled John as the public enemy number one because he held a rally and because they say he flaunts uh, marijuana too much, our truck is covered in pot leaves, and we drive it everywhere we go. Um, and uh, we also educate the public about marijuana, and he, that is why he labeled John public enemy. Wow, well, and he's made that statement in, like, a local paper or something like that? He's actually made that statement um, after arresting him on Wednesday night in the police report. Wow, it's in the police report. I believe it is, yeah. Wow, that is just crazy. So just a, a simple rally is enough to get you labeled uh, number one. It doesn't sound like there's a lot of uh, uh, crime there to deal with in Manitoba if they're so busy uh, persecuting a, a guy like John. Well, exactly. And the thing is, right now in Dauphin, we have such a huge problem with um, vandalism. You can walk down Main Street and any other um, street in Dauphin, and there's windows smashed out. Like, they're not break and enter. Like, no one enters. They just go and smash the windows and destroy places. And that's the number one concern with our mayor right now. And wow. I can't believe that they're trying to come down on the pot smokers as hard as they are when these vandals are out there trashing the town. 
So, so basically, uh, um, you feel that this has happened because of uh, Don's uh, presentation of the rally and Mark's absence? Yes, I, I strongly believe that that has caused it. Wow, wow. And so um, I also understand uh, John has a, a piss-poor lawyer there who's really uneducated about cannabis. He is really uneducated. Um, John has tried his best to uh, get him information about the Rogan decision and everything, and this guy, I don't know what it is, if he just doesn't want to hear it, or, you know, he's just saying, well, the law is the law, you, you know, it shouldn't have been... Well, a first piece of advice I'd like to give here is, like, tell John to fire the lawyer immediately. Okay. Um, and uh, um, contact uh, um, Brian McAllister. Uh, the, the, the phone number for Brian McAllister is posted on the show page of Pot TV. Mark just did an interview with him in Ontario. And get Brian McAllister to fax out all the pertinent information regarding the Rogan decision. And all, all you Pot TV viewers out there, too, you start faxing this information to the police, this information to the mayor's office, and this information to the, to the Winnipeg the name of this cop that uh, labeled uh, John Woods uh, public enemy number one? His name is Joseph Dodier, D-O-D-I-E-R. Yeah, and uh, phone uh, um, the Dauphin Police Station. Uh, um, and we'll have the numbers for a number of, of, of newspapers and uh, uh, um, the police station and whatnot posted with the show here. Um, and we, we, we want you to phone the police station, ask to speak to, to this officer, ask to speak to media relations, ask, you know, say, what's, what's the deal with this? A man's in jail now because of allegedly smoking a joint, and uh, you're going to hold him for this? You know, like, uh, this is a pretty crazy situation. We can let uh, John stood up in, in the face of 40 cops uh, for Canadians, led the Dauphin uh, people in a protest, and it's up to the Pot TV viewers to uh, uh, stand up in John's defense now. The ball's in our court, and we've got we've to take hold of the power here, people, and we've got to stand up in John's defense. So um, the numbers will be posted with the show. We really, really want you to call up and do what you can for John. We want you to write the papers. We want you to write the mayor's office. And uh, is there anything else we can do? Uh, donations for, for, for John's defense fund can be sent to Sweet Temptations? Yes, actually, our lawyer is refusing to do any more work unless we pay him a two thousand dollar retainer. Um, mm -hmm. I just